Hello everyone, today I'm going to tie a small bait fish. Um, this is a fairly easy tie, um, which is made from basically just three materials. I can see I just need to like that. It's made from Seafara Blend in the color Off-White and the very very cool color uh, Bleed, in, Bleed in Black, which is uh, <laughs> yeah, a tremendously uh, awesome awesome color. And then it's uh, it's I'm going to use uh, some of these fish skulls, which is a pretty neat product because it um, um, it has some advantages over for instance the Pro Softhead because uh, this has some weight. Hello there. Uh, today I'm going to tie a small bait fish. Um, this is a uh, bait fish that where I'm going to use a new material. I'm going to use one of these uh, metal um, fish skulls, uh, which is a pretty cool product because it has some weight. So you can you can make a very fast, very easy tie. I'm going to use the fish skulls, then some Steve Farrow blend in, in off white, and then some Steve Farrow blend in the very very cool color called Bleed in Black, which is is one of which it's going to be one of my favorites ever since I discovered it. So, as I said, this is a fairly easy fly. Uh, we're starting out with uh, a little bundle of uh, the Steve Farrow blend in, uh, in off-white. That was maybe a bit too, too, too little, something like this. And I'm just going to tie that down. I've turned the hook upside down because this has a tendency. I like to do this on my bait fish because, um, in my experience, this hooks uh, a rather big percentage of the fish. Like that. That was the first bundle. Just gonna take it a bit further up the hook. Then I'm gonna cut this off. I'm not gonna throw this away though. This is uh, what's gonna be the second part of uh, of the the body of this small uh, small herring or bait fish, whatever, like that, cut the rest of it off. So now I have the, the baseline of, of, uh, of this small bait fish. Then I'm going to take uh, the other element, I'm going to take the Stifera blend in uh, the bleed in black, and I'm taking roughly the same amount. Applying the bleeding black Stifera blend. As I was saying, this is a very, very easy, easy tie because we are actually almost done now. Um, and uh, and uh, I'm going to tell you a lot about the, these fish skulls as soon as as soon as we get to those. But as you see now, we've only used two materials. We have the basic shape of, of the bait fish, and uh, and <laughs> well, everything is good. Everything is is as it should be. So I'm going to make a whip finish, here, like that, and uh, because I'm going to apply some super glue in, in a second, uh, I won't bother with, uh, with many nuts and stuff like that, and, uh, and varnish and stuff like that, because uh, we, don't, we won't need it, because the glue is, is going to keep this together. I'm leaving this on, because this is a, a very important part of the fly. Because in a second, when I get around to getting one of these uh, fish skulls, uh, this color is called dark gray. It's actually almost black, but uh, but the color is is quite good for uh, for this combination. Um, because when I turn this back and apply the head, then uh, then it will it will fill out the head better. Uh, if 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 I have have this sticking out in front instead of if I've tied it down, then then it's it's gonna look uh, it it would look a bit strange. These fish skulls has two. It, it has a, an upside and a downside. The uh, the downside is is the part of the skull that has uh, the thickest wall. You can probably see that uh, the lower part of the head right here has a thicker wall than the upper part of this head, and uh, that is because this is is working kind of like a keel. So when I apply this, I'm to to make sure that this fly is fishing uh, the right way up. I'm gonna apply it so the keel is on the underside, and then uh, my fly will will be stabilized. And be uh, be right where I want it. So now I'm holding this a bit. Well, well, as I was saying, now all you need to do is uh, apply your head, and uh, it has this kind of keel function. So I'm not folding uh, the 
the wing back. I'm just letting the head fold it back like that. And so you have almost completed the fly. Now all I have to do is, because I, I could see that it was uh, sitting in the right position, so all I have to do is apply a bit of, a bit of super glue there and I'm also gonna give the lower part of this give the, the tying, tying thread underneath a bit of glue just to make sure that everything is where I want it to be be sure the keel is, is, is downwards put on the head and uh, your fly is almost complete because as you can see now we're still missing the eyes but there is some small grooves already prepared in this in this head and uh, there you just apply a, s a very small amount of, of glue like that and the same on the other side like that and then you take the the eyes and uh, one of the clever things about these uh, fish skulls is the the eyes is included in the package so you don't have to buy eyes um, uh, on the side the eyes that fits neatly into these grooves are included. So you take the eyes and put them in the groove, take your your dubbing needle, your dubbing needle, and just give them a slight oh whoops. Make sure they're the right spot. And then to make sure that it's fastened properly, you just apply some pressure with your uh, your dubbing needle. That was the eye on your side. Gonna apply the eye on my own side, like that. So now we're almost done because the only thing that's remaining is for me to uh, to taper the wing. I'm gonna do that very roughly at first, like that. But then I'm gonna take it out of the 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 tying vise uh, just to complete this uh, a bit more smooth than than what it is now. And what you want to do is you want to take the scissor and then cut kind of like a hairdresser to make your wings your. Uh, the wing that is going to be the body of this fly to make it tapered and tapered in the the correct correct way so that this this has the profile of, of a small bait fish so I'm cutting like this and also on the on the underside like this like this and I'm gonna take all the materials no, it's not completely ready yet. Still need a bit more here on the other side. And also I think a bit more on the on the top like that. And there you have it. A small bait fish that will fish brilliantly because it will keep the hook uh, upside down because of the keel and uh, it has an eye and because of the the weight on uh, on the head it will have a very very nice uh, a very very nice diving effect in the water and these heads are not too heavy you can easily cast this on a, on a six weight seven or eight weight won't be any problem and this size this is the size uh, the size small well those were the words a very small not not very small but a very nice little bait fish